<laughs> Hello, good morning. I am Rabia Oxanya Mateo, 23, representing the city of Love, Iloilo. I am biracial. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did introduce myself na. <laughs> yes. So, 30 seconds lang. Give an introduction. Tell us something about you. I'm actually biracial. My mom is an Ilonga and my dad is an Indian, if you can see through my features. However, I was raised in a broken family and uh, I experienced a really poor life. And it, I was able to rise from our situation as well because of educating people, because of educating myself. And now I decided to go give back to my community and uh, I became a lecturer for physical therapy. That's why I was able to Go Time. to. What is one beautiful word in a local language and what does it mean? One beautiful word would probably guapa, which means beautiful. I feel like we have this um, statement in Iliilo, basta ilonga guapa, which means every ilonga is beautiful. And I'm very proud that um, with Miss Universe Philippines, I was able to bring that kind of aspect that every Filipino would know that statement, basta ilonga guapa. Mm -hmm. so, what is that uh, one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? If there would be one thing that I learned through my mother, that would be always forgive people. Because there's no such thing as a perfect person. And when my dad left us, she never speak ill about him. That's why in every situation, even though other people would hurt me, I still choose to see the goodness in them. What, what about in this pandemic? What is the most important lesson that you You know what? Even though you're struggling, you can still become the symbol of hope. I myself, um, I had fears, uncertainty, but I still um, realized that I could still give back to Iloilo City. Out of my pocket, I decided to go for the frontliners, and I know that's just a simple way, but that's my best way to help our modern heroes. If you win the crown, how will you help your community? Being a Miss Universe, you become influential. So I want to go back to my advocacy, which is Feed Me and I Read Your Program, which we help those children living near the dump site. If you have seen my Beyond the Coastline video, I want to go back there. And we need a lot of materials, learning materials. And I feel like being a Miss Universe, I will be able to pull donors into our project to make it foster even better. Feed me and I read you program. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I feel that a phenomenal woman is red because red is power and I am red. Um, so what do you think are the skills needed to this um, future workspace or a uh, future works workplace? Of the future. Sorry. As of the moment, I am working from home because we don't have classes, um, live classroom classes. That's why we decided to conduct our lectures online. I feel like nowadays we need to adopt to the situation. So um, we need to be versatile in what is happening around us. And online business or working from home is such a huge opportunity for us to spend more time with our family and as well. Um, trying to enjoy the life. Okay, if you can name one spot, man-made or natural, in your uh, in Iloilo City, what would it be? I would definitely want to bring all of you to Haro Cathedral because, you know what, in Iloilo, we don't have much of natural spots. But Haro Cathedral is like an establishment that witnessed the love and devotion that Ilongos have towards God, and I feel like it's been there since the Spanish era. So with timeless memories and modernization, we were able to, you know, arrive to be the longest that we are today.
there's a campaign that's hashtag love local. So if it's up to you, which local product do you want to promote and why? You know what? It was also asked to me during Miss Iliila and I I want to bring to the global community our very own hablon that is our indigenous fabric and I feel like you know it enriches the culture of not just Iloilo but of our country every time I wear hablon I don't just wear Iloilo but I wear Philippines Last question. what is one thing young people like you should focus on you need to invest in yourself as of the moment, there's a lot of destructions. There's a lot of bashers or backlash. But at the end of the day, when you practice self-love, you get to know the right weapon in order for you to win life. And I feel like right now, I am ripe enough to win the competition because I've done everything that I could to transform, to become a phenomenal woman that I am. Thank you, thank you po. <laughs> Actually, at first, I was kind of hesitant because you need 30 seconds to answer one question. But in the end, I was able to gain that momentum. And I feel like up until now, there's so much energy in me. <laughs> I can do another round. Um, they told us that it's all about us, our personality. So it takes...